For the last month, we've seen Davina McCall on The Masked Singer. And when she's not busy trying to guess the celebrity, she loves to be at home cooking. And this morning, she's making one of her favourite desserts, perfect for warming us all up. Healthy eating is really important to me. I like to make food that's quick and easy, that's full of goodness. I avoid refined sugar, and I also try not to eat too many processed foods. But that doesn't mean that you can't have the odd treat. My blackberry and apple crumble ticks all the boxes when it comes to puts. So we've got Kent Cox's apples. I like these because they're local to me, and I always like to try and source local food. Then add the blackberries. My family love a crumble. Um, what's always a bit of an issue is that they always try and steal more crumble than they do fruit. Um, so sometimes I will double the ingredient for the crumble um, and make twice as much, so it's really yummy and thick. Add the cloves, cinnamon, and this is maple syrup. Now, I am free from refined sugar, um, but occasionally I will use honey or maple syrup because sometimes the blackberries can be a little bit tart. Mix it up a little bit and get the spices all over the apples and the maple syrup really settled in there. And then you're ready to get the crumble. What you do is you take the flour, I use wholemeal flour, and then you add the butter. And what you want to do with the butter is you want to kind of mix it in with the flour just by using the tips of your fingers so it doesn't melt too much. Um, sort of like that, just loosely, so it stays nice and separate. Now what I've done, you may notice this. Yeah, I tore my tendons. I was trying to take my boot off and I stamped on my own hand. Don't ask. Um, so what I've done is I prepared one earlier. It took me three hours, one-handed, uh, but anyway. Um, here it is, and what you do then is you add the oats, and this is for lovely crunchiness. So when it cooks, it has a lovely crunchiness to it. And some hazelnuts, which add a really nice flavour and also some crunchiness. And just stir that in. I mean, literally, it's that easy. You just pour it on. And then spread it out with the spoon. Ready. We've preheated the oven to 180 fan or 160 gas and leave it in for 25 to 30 minutes. Oh, that's exactly how it should look. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So nice because it's just crisped up and browned up on the top. Oh, the smell. Look at the lovely colour. That's the blackberries. Just let's get a bit more crumble. Yes. <laughs> if you fancy, you could just put a little dollop of creme fraiche on there. It's a really nice, slightly lighter version of uh, double cream. Slightly healthier alternative. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. You get yours in a minute. All right. Mm. Oh, sorry, you're still here. I'm just going to carry on with this, if that's OK. Oh, that is gorgeous. You can find Davina's recipe online. Just head to our website.